Uh, hey, what's up, guys? This is Spencer Owens from Crosstalk. I'm here with my good buddy Jim Hawkins from Escondido Cycle Center, and we're here to talk about what's going on with ECC and all the cool events coming up. All right, so Jim, ECC has been around since 1969. Yep. You got started off as a Honda dealer. Sooner or later, Cowie and Suzuki came up, but you also sponsored some riders too. We were talking a little bit about that. Tell me a little bit about what that was like sponsoring some riders to get out there. Um, we always sponsored the local talent. Uh, just when we did from 02 through 05, we had the Supercross team, a national team, which was a lot of fun, but uh, can't do that right now, so we're just going to focus on our amateur program. Yeah, in 2001, I think, is when you started off the, the whole racing squad. 2002, huh? yeah, was our first year. So. That's cool, and that was cool, huh? It was a lot of fun. So what, how did that come about? Did you guys just say, hey, we're going to start a team, or was it a bunch of sponsors coming together to put together an effort? Uh, Basically, ownership here is very into motocross. They're, they're uh, kind of gearheads. So it was kind of their deal to put it together and make it happen. So how do you guys plan on doing that in the future? We would love to uh, if it all works out. You still have the rig in the back, though, don't you? Nope, no more. No rig. more? No what way. happened to the rig? Uh, it went away with the team. Oh, man. See, you still have some jerseys up here. Uh, Steve Lampson was a part of the team. Lampson. How did you guys get so many good riders on the team? Just uh, went after them hard at the time and made it happen. That's awesome. And you also sponsor some riders now. We do. Uh, local talent, we are uh, with uh, Billy Leninovich. Uh, he's our rider. Uh, Whip King. At, at Whip King. And also uh, Kevin Weisberg. Kevin Weisberg. Tell us a little bit about Kevin Weisberg. I know he got hurt at the beginning of the season. How is he doing now? Uh, he's hoping to make a comeback for San Diego. He had a little throat injury and a case out. Uh, kind of an odd motocross injury. But um, crazy enough, three weeks later, he's uh, maybe racing San Diego. So. We hope for that. We love Kevin and we love Billy. Is Billy planning on coming back? We don't know what Billy's going to do all year. I know he's doing motocross training, and that's his focus. I was probably seeing him at some X Games, best whip, that kind of stuff. But definitely best whip. Now, what do you do here at ECC? I am the general manager. General manager. Tell us a little bit about what a general manager does for those of us who don't know. Uh, there's uh, quite a bit. All the ordering focuses on what we're going to do as a dealership, uh, employees, staff. Just trying to uh, just build the best team we can so our customers are happy. What did you start out as before you were a general manager? Uh, see, my passion for motocross uh, started riding when I was three. Got into motorcycle industry right into right at high school. Uh, just stayed with it forever. I was a service manager for a number of years, and then just uh, kind of progressed into where I'm at today. Did you start here at ECC? Nope. You didn't start here at ECC. I worked for this store as a Honda dealer before this before uh, the catch and zone. So yes. Okay, so did you did you go up wanting to be a general manager of a store, or did you want to be a pro like every? I wanted to race motocross. You did. So. Did you race? Uh, I did up? for a number of years, long years. Any championships? No. No championships. No. Never got to that level. Never got to that level. What bike was your first bike? My first bike was a little Indian when I was oh. three. I think my dad actually rode one of those yeah. growing up. Yeah, I remember. I, I bought my day. first bike here at ECC. Yeah. CRF70. Yeah. 2000. Five, I think it was. Yeah, yeah you've been huh. a customer and a writer I've for a I've been a customer time. and a writer for a long time. And speaking of being a writer, what do you look for in amateur talent coming up for your amateur squad, Killer Bees? You know, it's, it's just a passion to ride. Want to be a good representative for the store. Um, just want to be a part of something cool that uh, you know, we can all grow with. The more people we have, the, the, the easier it is to get more sponsors and try and grow the program uh, to where eventually what I'd like to see in a year or two is uh, travel all the big, you know, Loretta, Ponca, uh, do all the, the amateur nationals. So that would be ideally uh, what we'd like to do in the next two years. So you guys would like to be one of the, one of the up and coming teams for, to hold the, the next level talent for the oh, pros? Yeah. Uh, we want to be a stepping stone. Hopefully you get a factory backed amateur program that uh, we can grow with you know even more so that's awesome what do you think it'll take to get there a lot more sales and a lot more riders. a lot of dedication yes and a couple good sponsors we have some good sponsors now it's just that you know it, it takes a lot of money to travel the u.s and do all the national what kind of sponsors do you guys have on you now uh right now toyota of escondido action sports joined us this year oh, no way. A, an awesome awesome uh, joint venture uh we've always been tied with uh, for the last few years with uh, paula raceway those guys, their crew is awesome. They build an awesome track. Uh, we've got, um, you know, Troy Lee's been with us from the beginning. Uh, Dunlop Tires, uh, Factory Backing's always done our graphics. Love those guys over there. Uh, you know, as well as Ride Engineering, they joined us this year as well. So, so you guys got a lot of sponsors, a lot of people backing you up. Yep, yep. Is it difficult to put yourself out there to the sponsors? Now, for those of us who don't know. What's it like to contact the sponsors and, and get them on your side, I guess you could say? Yeah, reputation helps. 
You know, they all want to grow their business and, and try and make things uh, better for everybody, and that's what you want. But, you know, there's a lot of companies out there that aren't a good match for us. You know, there's some stuff that, uh, that uh, we, we still want to do, but everybody we've got, we've, we've stayed loyal to them and they've stayed loyal to us, so we're just going to try and build it as we go. And you got to make sure that the, that the goals are still the same. You know, you want to make sure you find sponsors that, that fit your goals and want to yeah. take you to places where you want to be, like the amateur team. Right. And I think it's possible. I mean, if you just dedicate yourself to it and you get enough sales, you can do it and the right people behind yeah. you Anything is possible. Yeah, just got to fight and keep going and make it happen. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, with family stuff right now, a lot of that. I'm going to get back into riding here soon and uh, try and, you know, once it's in your blood, it's, you know, you know how it is. Oh, yeah, it definitely. doesn't ever go once away. Once you start, you can't stop. So I just got to make, make more time to get out to the track. That's it. And you have Cowie, too. Yeah, we're Cowie Honda Suzuki. Cowie Honda Suzuki. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, I'm trying to ignore these sexy beasts back here, but I just can't. You did the 2014 uh, Suzuki, not Honda, Suzuki 450 and 250. What's new on these bikes? Uh, well, not, not a lot's changed over last year, actually. Last year's bikes are pretty similar. Uh, it's been a great bike, bike of the year. Uh, you know, really not a whole lot new. Yeah. Have you ever seen yourself riding an RM? Yeah, actually. Yeah? Are very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. That's like cool. See a lot. Uh, so you guys have a big event coming up this week. We do. Tell us a little about that. Uh, this year we've got uh, Kawasaki joining us for the uh, big Supercross sale. And uh, we got Villapoto, Weimer, uh, all the uh, Pro Circuit team, 250 team. So we've got Billy will be here, uh, Leninovich, as well as Kevin Weisberg. And uh, we're going to have Deanna Dahlgren this year. That's We all love Deanna Dahlgren and we all love the Pro Circuit guys. Yep, it's going to be a great event. So there's going to be deals too, right? Sales yeah. going on? Yeah, we're going to have big sales on bikes, parts, accessories. We'll have it, uh, we'll have it all ready. Have it all ready. That sounds good. And you guys are going to Supercross, right, San Diego? Yeah. So for those of us who are going, where can we find you guys? Uh, well, we're going to be spread out. We weren't able to sell tickets this year. Uh, we're uh, not, uh, uh, not a dealer. brand of, of what they uh, were allowing them to sell. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to be spread out. Um, but we'll be there. Supporting the guys. Yep. All right, Jim Hawkins, thank you so much Absolutely. for letting us come thanks in and meet with you guys. Spencer Owens, thanks for watching Crosstalk. Come over to ECC's open house Friday night. What time does this start? Uh, 5 to 7. 5 to 7. Come meet all your favorite Kawasaki riders, including Miss Supercross, Diana Dahlgren. See you later, guys.